Hi, this is a presentation for the Simkinetics SIVAT, or Simkin's Infinitely Variable Automatic Transmission. If you are interested in information about this transmission, you can contact us at simbasat at comcast.net, as you see at the bottom, S-I-M-B-A-S-A-T at comcast.net. Hi, this is Barry A. Simpkins. I'm the inventor of the Simpkins Infinitely Variable Automatic Transmission, or CIVAT. The CIVAT is a true infinitely variable transmission, or IVT, which is a type of CVT that can get all ratios, has an infinite, infinite range going down to 0 to 1, or 0 to anything, from the output to the input as a ratio. Now the CIVAT is a unique type of IVT because it uses ratcheting technology which is positive and efficient and in this case has very low pulsing, generally less than 0.1%. Uh, there are a little higher ratios, or, or a little higher ripple in uh, low ratios. Uh, at most, uh, Ratios, 0.01% uh, is possible with a slight redesign of this. No inefficient belts, rollers, or cams are in this transmission. It's gears, levers, and uh, one-way clutches. It's more efficient than cam-based ratcheting IVTs, which I will explain in a uh, Word document that you can request. Now this is the first proof of concept prototype with no design refinement, straight from the CAD system. Like all transmissions, it has an input, an output, and a ratio control. In this case, the input is the chain and a sprocket that you can't see behind here, and uh, this magenta colored piece, all is one unit for the input. The output is the output sprocket here and the red ring behind it. You can see that I have tape, white tape that shows the uh, rotational velocity of each of the input and the output. And I'll start it off in a zero output ratio. You can see the input is moving but the output does not move. And then I can take the ratio control lever and push it in the leftward direction and you'll see that I can increase the speed from that continuously right up to its very highest ratio which in this case is close to one to one and then I can bring the output speed down and I can do this continuously so I can change the ratio when it's operating or not operating. Now I'll demonstrate again how it can go up in ratio and down to zero and it's positive drive which means that it's always engaged so even at the zero output technically speaking it's still engaged now bear in mind that this is the first prototype and uh, I designed it to this level of assembly for initial testing with this sprocket as the output but uh, I will um, do a little bit of redesign to, uh, to uh, improve things that I've found, uh, such as uh, gear size needs to be changed a little bit inside. Uh, I will ultimately put this on or into the hub of a bicycle, which is this. So this whole transmission will go inside and freely rotate inside this hub. The output sprocket that you see here will be replaced by a plate that will bolt to these screw holes on this flange and then the hub will be the output of a bicycle and I'll put a control system on it. Right now the uh, design that you see is calculated at a third horsepower at 300 RPM output. So you can tell that the size of the transmission is very small for that kind of power throughput. It's very power or torque dense, which is uh, rather unusual. You cannot get that kind of power density with uh, rollers 
nor can you get any kind of efficiency that compares to this. Now the automatic feature, I've uh, rudimentarily uh, put a rubber band on, which you can see here, to pull the lever into the highest ratio. And uh, as an automatic feature, I could replace this with a spring, this rubber band with a spring mechanism that would push the lever to the left into a high gear. Now you'll notice that if I put a load on the output, I'll put some friction on it, the ratio drops down. I'll do that again. A little higher ratio, load on it drops down to a lower ratio. And if I put too much load on it, and this is an overload protection feature, the output will come to a complete stop. And that allows this transmission to protect downstream and upstream uh, components from uh, being overloaded. Now again, I'll repeat the high to low. You can see that at the lowest ratio it has a zero output. I can bring that up to a high speed. and back down to zero. We want to develop the CIVAT for uh, energy saving systems such as hybrid vehicles, kinetic energy recovery systems using flywheels. This transmission is scalable and configurable. So one of the configurations will, will be instead of sprocket output and input, could be a shaft drive output and input, which I've already designed. So this transmission can be adapted for all kinds of uses. We are looking for strategic partners and investors or anyone uh, interested in uh, helping us develop this transmission. If you are interested in the CIVAT, you can contact us at the email address on our website, which is simbasat at comcast.net currently, and in the future we will have a complete website so you can contact us through that. So I'm Barry A. Simpkins, and this is my invention, the CIVAT. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.